Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in London. I'm here with Rick Farnell. Rick, how you doing? Very good. So you're with a new company that Teradata recently acquired, right? Yeah. And the name is what? Think Big. Think Big. Uh, that's a great name. So how did you first come up with that name? I mean, you, you want people to think big? Yeah, so so the our name uh, when we started the company in 2010 was Think Big Analytics. Uh, through the acquisition of Teradata, we dropped analytics and just became Think Big, a Teradata company. But uh, when we started the organization back in 2010, really on a mission to help organizations, large and small, build solutions with open source software, and specifically the Hadoop ecosystem, um, regardless of what platforms they were on, whether they were on-premise, in the cloud, or hybrid. So, uh, yeah, kind of Think Big was a, a, a name that friends of you know my partners kind of came up with I think at a dinner party and we were trying to think of you know, put something in the big data context because big data was starting to get a groundswell so uh, big data mentors big data you know partners big something big and think big and then marrying the analytics just seemed to fit so so Teradata you think big you do think Teradata and they've got some huge large enterprise customers you guys were a startup, you have this smaller entrepreneurial uh, mm -hmm. focus and, and, and what you do. So how do you blend the two? Large enterprise, startup, is there a continuum or how does, how does a company get going? And yeah, so, so I think part of, the, part of the opportunity that we have, when, you know, a lot of the folks that are at Think Big, this is not our first rodeo. We've started a, a few companies and been part of large organizations, small organizations um, on the acquisition side and on the acquirer side. So we're pretty familiar with kind of the enterprise space. And for Teradata, you know, I have to give them a, a ton of credit. You know, just an amazing brand from a data and analytics perspective and just a, a rich, rich culture of people who are passionate about doing the right things with data. So they definitely recognize, obviously, with the acquisition of us, that the world is changing, right? Kind of organizations are doing more with open source software and, you know, yes, utilizing kind of the, the fantastic assets that Teradata has and has in the marketplace, but kind of where the world is going, specifically around open source and the pace that it's moving, uh, they definitely need a services strategy to be able to work with clients large and small on any of these different platforms. And so we were talking earlier, and you mentioned something about leave and layer, because I, I was asking about, does a company need to go all one way? Is it all Hadoop and Spark, or can you do something to transition yourself to a data company or a data focused company? And you mentioned leave and layer. Can you unpack that a bit? Sure, so certainly leave and layer is appropriate for uh, existing organizations, large-scale companies, they pretty much have most of the technology that's been invented over the past 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Certainly for startups, that might be a different yeah. uh, approach, right? So Build go cloud scratch. right away, software yeah. as a service, right? And that's an interesting dynamic just in and of itself. Um, but certainly for the large-scale enterprises across every industry, um, it's not a rip and replace. You know, you're just sunsetting and shutting off systems that have been in place and running your business for years and that you report on. Um, you kind of incorporate kind of these new technologies where appropriate and start to build new solutions on top. So you leave those systems in place and yep. layer new exactly. services and new data capabilities on top. Exactly. Yep. exactly. And you guys help with that. that. That's kind of our, our forte. So when we started the company, uh, certainly, we have a, an engineering background, um, certainly a data science background as well, you know, with the big data, kind of the math marrying the engineers. And to be honest with you, we thought that right out of the gate, we were going to have a lot more mathematicians and data scientists, because that's kind of what the market was calling for. But what really ended up happening uh, over the five years we started the company in 2010 is in order to prepare and provide data scientists with all of this great compute and all this wonderful data and blends of data that they never blended together before, you had to do a lot of engineering. So you had to layer in 
kind of these newer technologies that could ingest different data sets and blend them together and expose them to the data scientists. So, you know, at Think Big, a majority of our business is really around engineering and stitching together a lot of these new patterns and new technologies with our clients. And that's probably the harder piece to do anyway. Much harder, yeah. much harder. And, and probably the, the biggest area for innovation going forward, right? I think um, as Hadoop has really crossed the chasm and, and made it, you know, uh, into every enterprise now, you know, I think it's a, it's a relevant conversation for every single enterprise, no matter what. Um, a lot of the things now, when you put those platforms at scale, security, um, you know, metadata management, kind of governance, all of those things start to come into play. So we're seeing um, an incredible amount of investment and innovation in some of those tools around the edge. And that's something that certainly Think Big does uh, really well. So you know, we work with our clients not to just do POCs in the, in the background and on, underneath the desk of someone. We're building production systems with enterprise class services and SLAs. Yeah, I think you mentioned that today. It's not about the platform you build or the implementation of the stack that you've got, but it's about the solutions you create. And I think a lot of people lose sight of that. So can you talk a little bit about what Think Big does to help customers build solutions and not just their platform? Because you can build something, but if you don't get anything out of it, why build it? That's right. And, and I, think, I think the pace at which you bring innovation to the business is really important as well. So we talk a lot about agile and a technology kind of manner, but really agile on the business side is important as well. So at Think Big, we have a roadmap um, you know, it's a, it's a multi-week engagement, not multi-month, where we work with business executives and their supporting IT group to really think big and kind of understand what are they not doing today that they want to do? What, what data are they not blending together that they're not, you know, mixing together? So, so are they thinking big as in big ideas? Or are they thinking big as in big data? Or are they all the above? Is yeah. it like big? I think, I think it is all the above, right? As you know, big data, Depending upon who you ask, you get a totally different um, answer. Is big data the amount of data, the variety of data? Is it the technology that's been, you know, NoSQL and Hadoop and Storm and Spark? You know, what is big data really, right? So I think from our perspective, um, it's, it's all. It's not one or the other. It's how do you use fantastic, new, innovative ways and approaches to solve unique business problems that you never could do before. So last question, Twitter handle. Go big or go home. Big or go home. Big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great Twitter handle. How did you decide that was your your focus on, on the handle? Because of the company name? Or? Yeah, um, certainly from a personal perspective, those you know that I work with, and you know, we have a passionate group inside of Think Big and scaling quickly. Um, you know, and you heard my talk, it's really about the people. Right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, unless you have kind of a people charge and someone who can passionately make things happen, go big or go home. Like, why are you doing this, right? If, if you're not going to bring it. Why build it? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. so because this stuff is hard, right? Whether you're building it on you know technology from 10 years ago or technology that's bleeding edge, it's hard regardless. It's hard to be successful in this world, blending business and technology. So if, if you can't be passionate, you know, and, and have that approach, why do it? Yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you at future Strata events. Thank yeah, you, Rick. Thank you very much.